Okay, here we are. We're going to do a quick install of the, the uh, Tactical Trigger P365 Trigger Kit. Uh, we've got a stock uh, P365 XL here, so we'll start by just looking at the characteristics of it. So you got about a quarter inch of pre-travel and then kind of a rolling squishy break, kind of a longer reset back and then same thing. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking down this gun. Um, we've got a more detailed install video that um, explains all these steps, but I'm gonna remove the fire and control unit from the grip module, set those aside. I've got my parts here ready to go. I'm gonna start with um, the sear control spring. So that installs around the safety lever pin. So I'm gonna pull that safety lever pin out there, I'm going to drop my safety lever, set that aside so it doesn't get lost, and I'm going to let that takedown lever go. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my toothpick, grab my sear control spring, seat it kind of on the toothpick like that, come in the back here, I'm going to press down on the sear once I'm in there. Okay, and then uh, it looks like my safety lever pin needs to come back out uh, just a hair. Okay, now I've got that in there. Press my safety lever pin in. Okay, got that seated in there now around the safety lever pin. Okay, now I need to reinstall my uh, safety lever. So, pull that. I like to do this blind so I remember the orientation. And I'll pop that up a hair. pushing on the safety lever a little bit will help me find the orientation. Okay, so I found the orientation. Everything's installed now. Sear springs, good. Pushing back up on the sear. My safety lever's functioning correctly. Okay, so that's the most complicated part of the install. Now I'm gonna move on to the pre-travel. So I got my pre-travel stop. I install that under the trigger shoe on the front here. Kind of line that up in the center. Okay, now I'm going to install my over travel stop. I'm just going to take a drop of oil, kind of put some oil around the fire control unit at the back there, install my over travel stop and that orientation. Okay, now I'm ready to reinstall the grip module. Okay, and that oil will hold that over travel stop from moving while I install that. So all that looks good, over, pre travel, over travel stops in place. Okay, now I'm ready to move on to my slide. So I'm gonna remove my slide cap. And this one you push to the side and in, okay. And I'm gonna get ready. This is my modified um, slide cap, but I'm not gonna install that right away. So I pull out my striker assembly, holding on to my striker safety. Okay, I'm gonna set my stock striker safety spring aside, install mine uh, reduced powered striker safety spring that comes with the kit. Okay, I got that installed. The spring's moving back and forth. Striker assembly's in place. All that looks good, being blocked correctly. Okay, I'm gonna leave the slide cap off for now. I'm gonna move into the safety and reliability check. So. Here, first thing I'm checking, I know that those are functioning correctly on the sear, the sear spring seated correct. Okay, now I'm gonna install the slide without the slide cap on so I can move through this quickly. Remove the takedown lever, okay. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to view my sear engagement. Okay, so uh, get the light in there a little better. Right there, okay. So now I can see that my uh, striker is covering the sear interfacing surface and I can verify by starting to pull down slightly. See how there's the there's where the striker interfacing surface sur first starts to show. So I know that it was covered completely by the striker. Okay, so I can release that. Now we can zoom back out. Okay, and then I'm ready to move on to checking my uh, striker safety function now. So I'm gonna press on the back of the striker and I'm gonna pull the trigger to observe the travel distance until the striker safety is defeated. And you'll see that when my right hand moves. So there's about an eighth, of, over an eighth of an inch. So there's, there, I know that 
I've got over an eighth of an inch of travel until that striker safety was defeated. Now I'm going to find the interference point uh, of the striker safety. Okay, it's back there. And then I continue to press the trigger all the way to the rear. It kept on going. So I know now there's no interference um, with the striker safety when the trigger's pulled. So the, all that passes all those reliability checks and safety checks. So now I'm going to install my modified OEM slide cap. And I do that so that we'll be able to remove the slide uh, with the reduced pre-travel. Okay, so now uh, we've got the trigger installed and we can check its function. So here we've got the reduced take up. It's about 3 16th of an inch, but if you notice my, take, my trigger in the stock started about there. So now the wall's there, about a 16th of an inch break. Quick reset back on. And so that's, that's the install. If uh, the most common adjustment that you might have is an over travel adjustment, if I'm not getting a clean break, if it's like getting to the end and then it's hesitating to break, uh, this one isn't, but I'll just show you how to adjust over travel anyway. We'll take that down. Okay. And I'll just go back in to my over travel stop. I'll pull that out and then I can just bend off one of these layers. Okay, so it's just to find the layer here and then it bends off and then it breaks off cleanly. And then I've got a one layer and a two layer stop. So I'll reinstall the two layer and there's enough oil there still from the first time. Okay, just reinstall that. And now I've got a slightly increased over travel. That might give me a little bit of a cleaner brake feel to it. So we'll take a look at that. Okay, so a little bit of extra over travel, but not much. And it just gives me a slightly different feel, but um, you might need to do that if you're not getting a clean brake. And so uh, there's a pretty simple, straightforward, uh, a shortened over uh, installation video for you. There's a more detailed one also available. Um, but thanks for watching.